Um, okay, so um, Clarity and uh, Doxis integration, the demo. So first of all, I just want to set the scene with a couple of slides. Um, so the problem, which I feel as if the survey that we just did validated our understanding of the market, is that productivity is really negatively impacted by a bunch of things in this space. So uh, the inability to find project content on demand, um, a lack of automation um, in our processes, for example, around document approvals, and the absence of secure project rooms where we can collaborate securely with external parties. Um, and that there is a real disconnect between our system of record for project information and the content that those projects produce. Um, there's a, a difficulty in complying with uh, regulations and standards uh, for that content. And I've talked at length about uh, these examples around uh, inefficiency between our two, well, one to many uh, organizations. So how can Doxis help with this? So Doxis can help to manage our content. It can help um, ensure compliance. Um, it has an extremely powerful um, automation capability. It allows us to handle uh, archiving, um, improve our collaboration around documents, uh, work from anywhere, uh, generate uh, business insights. Um, we'll talk uh, about that uh, in a little bit more detail when we um, consider the PMO user in our demo. Um, our cognitive services um, and uh, in, in overall uh, aiming to improve customer satisfaction. So the Doxis platform itself really can handle all forms of content and can integrate with all um, applications within your enterprise. And through its process services, its cognitive services and content services really does um, translate into um, a true system of understanding uh, for its clients. So Doxis as a platform can do a huge amount more than we're gonna be talking about today. The focus of what we're gonna be talking about today is just one of the strands within Doxis. So there is a use case, and a very, very strong use case, to use Doxis across the organization in a whole host of use cases. That's interesting for you to know today, so that if you happen to speak to your enterprise architect and they say to you, yes, but can we use it more broadly? The answer to that question is yes, but I'm not focused on that today. The today, I'm interested in projects, and I'm interested in using Doxis to manage our project content. Um, so, the demo. Um, we have... Um, Two really good looking um, actors in the process and one funny looking guy who's the sponsor. Um, so uh, I'm gonna uh, fulfill the role as a sponsor. Um, we have uh, Balaji, um, who's gonna fulfill the role as a PMO. Balaji, wave your hand. Um, I, I don't think that's a true reflection of a PMO because you're looking very relaxed. <laughs> so I don't think that's, uh, I think you need to get into character. You need to look a little bit more stressed. Um, so, uh, <laughs> the, uh, uh, and then we also have Ajnan, who is a project manager. You know, cool, calm, you've got everything under control. Great. So what we're going to cover today, we're going to look at content management in the context of a project stage gate use case. So um, the, 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 the main touch points of the integration that we're going to talk about today cover the creation of a project, um, the uh, collaboration on a document, the approval of that document, um, the um, automation that we can achieve on the back of having that document approved, um, and then what the PMO's view of this is. I'm using the PMO very, very loosely here. You know, it could be any team, department, uh, stakeholder who needs visibility across you know, a portfolio of, of work. Um, uh, please don't get too hung up on my adoption of uh, uh, the, the PMO. So um, I'm, I'd like to just emphasize the different um, products that are achieving each of these requirements. So the creation of our project, whether it be 
directly in Clarity, um, or it's the result of a demand management process that's also in Clarity, or whether it's through an integration with a CRM product or um, another, uh, any other product in the enterprise where you might be capturing ideas and demand, ultimately the project will be created in Clarity. As a result of the integration that we've developed, we will then create a mirroring project in Doxis using templates that will have a predefined set of folders with all of the mandatory documents that that project needs to, do, to produce as part of its compliance and, 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 and its methodology. So the project manager, as soon as the project's created, you might have five different types of projects. They all follow different levels of governance and they all have different types of documents. So you might have a software development project. Um, that might need to produce a whole bunch of documents that might be different from a, um, um, an infrastructure project or you know, whatever the different examples might be. So as many different templates and many different types of projects supported. And then we will collaborate in Doxis um, on that document. We will uh, and showcase all of the native um, and advanced document management capability that comes with Doxis. Um, we will uh, look at the document approval process and then again through integration we will see by approving those documents in Doxis and sending the metadata to Clarity what automations can we can drive in Clarity on the back of signing that document. So classic example being we're in a stage gate in order to pass from planning into execution we need two documents to be approved our um, remind me uh, our solution design and our project management plan yeah project management plan we've just used these two as an example and that project cannot pass until those two documents are, are approved Doxis handles the, uh, uh, the uh, workflow approval for the documents, uh, both internal and external collaboration. And then when, when the document is finally approved, we then send that metadata to Clarity to drive automations, and the project will advance through its stage gate. And we'll see uh, the visibility that the PMO has on that. Um, but importantly, although there's two applications at play here, there is one user experience. All of this is accessed via Clarity in context. So you navigate to the project, there'll be a tab called Contents, and in that tab you will see all of the capability that's brought to bear by Doxis. So it's one user experience, uh, one login, um, and you don't need to go across to different systems and different um, applications. You can see the content that you need in context of the project that you're looking at. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we're now going to do a demo. Um, so, uh, Omar from uh, SER and Ajnan um, are going to help me uh, with the mouse, clis, uh, mouse clicks. Um, so, uh, we're going to start in Clarity, I believe. So, Ajnan, would you be able to um, uh, log into Clarity? Um, and I should get my demo script from somewhere. So, we're logged in as um, a project manager. And uh, what we'd like to do is we're going to pick on our our dummy project today, which is the Automated Process Enhancement Project. So from the project tile view, um, Ajnan's going to click on this project um, and drill in, and we're going to take a look at some of the project details. So um, for those of you that are familiar with the modern UX within Clarity, you can see that this particular blueprint which influences the look and feel of uh, the project, uh, you can see it has a lot of the out-of-the-box modules available for this particular project. So you can see properties, you can see baseline, tasks, financials, risks, issues, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and uh, if you were to uh, just do a quick review of the properties of this project, you can see we have uh, the stakeholders. We can see that uh, we've got um, uh, Ajnan, we've got Balaji as the PMO, myself as the sponsor. Um, you can see that we've got some uh, high-level financial information there about the project. Uh, we've got the uh, percentage complete. Um, and if Ajnan just navigated to the tasks tab, please, um, you'll see that the project, um, and as we could see from the previous stage, the project um, has uh, been through its initiation phase and is currently in the planning phase. 
Um, so this is the, the Gantt chart to reflect the current status and we can see that we're currently in uh, the planning phase. Um, so uh, Ajnan, if you could just uh, navigate to the contents tab, let's have a, a review of uh, DOCSIS. Um, if, 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 you, if, you, if it helps, yes. So we're just trying to manage the zoom so people at the back can see it. Um, so what you're seeing here in screen, in context, is the project folder where all of the content for this particular project is currently being stored. So this, this really is DOCSIS, what you're looking at now, in context of clarity. So um, if I navigated to the next project and I navigated to the content screen, I'd see the contents for that project. So obviously it's, it's context sensitive. So um, within uh, DOCSIS, you'll see that there's some metadata that's been sent from Clarity into DOCSIS. So we can see the project code, the project name, project stage, manager, sponsor, PMO, etc. So all of that information has been sent from Clarity into DOCSIS. The reason that's interesting is because it allows us to do powerful search on our documents. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Um, We can see in the project stages that we have um, a folder structure um, already uh, in place. If we click on the project stages, so we can see the initiation, planning, execution, deployment, and closure. That mirrors the work breakdown structure that you saw when we looked at the tasks. So again, this is not a one-size-fits-all. Whatever your methodology, whatever your structures, you know, it, it can be aligned. So if we took a quick look at the initiation folder, um, we'll be able to see that there is a, a document that's already in place um, that is the project charter. Um, so the project charter, uh, we can see, um, is a, a PDF. It's been approved. It was approved by Jamie, um, and there was um, two versions of that, um, of that uh, particular document. So we can click on the document. Um, we can um, obviously review um, the final saved version. Um, so we can see uh, that there's a, a digital signature that's been placed on the, uh, on the file, who it's been saved by, who it's been approved by and when. Um, and then we can also see uh, that this particular document also went out to um, an external uh, third party supplier and was signed via DocuSign. So uh, DocuSign and Adobe Sign are, are natively integrated within, uh, within Docsis. So you can keep all of, the t all of the content online without having to email to um, uh, external uh, uh, parties. Um, okay, so uh, Omar, could we also just take a look at the previous version of this document um, to see uh, what annotations, if any, may have been placed on the document? So we can see in the, in the previous version, uh, the prior to signature, there was uh, some annotations that were given insight into who needed to sign where. Um, if we scroll down, I think is it on the, the fifth page, Omar? Excuse me. Um, you can see that there was a, um, some feedback that was left, um, I think by uh, the PMO, um, Balaji, he was saying that, you know, and what, what I need you to do in terms of inserting the business case information here, uh, what, in, what I need you to do in terms of putting the goal statement, timeline, etc. So all those annotations are captured. Um, and then we can see on the final version, uh, the one that was approved, um, we can see that um, uh, the uh, project manager had taken those steps um, and the, the content had, had been completed. So really, really simple example, uh, but we just wanted to show you how you have very easy uh, mechanism to go back through each of the versions um, um, and uh, um, um, uh, collaborate uh, with different internal and external stakeholders. Okay, so... The, uh, the next thing we're going to show you is to go to the uh, planning folder. So this is the current stage that this project is in. So we can see that there are two documents. One is the uh, project management plan, 
um, which again has been through its own approval process um, and is a, a, a status of approved. Um, and then we have a solution design document. So that solution design document, uh, we're going to take a look at that in a little bit more detail and we'll see um, that there's been some um, instructions that have been left uh, by the PMO prior to submission for approval. They've done a, 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 um, an initial review um, and they'd like to see, um, we, if we just click on that uh, note, we can see that the PMO has said, actually, I really don't want that diagram in the executive summary of this document. So please remove it before you submit it for approval. So um, what we're, that's what we're going to do now. So uh, Omar, if you could uh, just take us through the process of um, uh, amending that document and then um, or, um, uh, creating the new version using check-in, check-out. So we can check the document out. We'll make this very simple and basic cos uh, cosmetic change. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, absolutely, you can. Um, and also, you could, it's not always easy to predict in which sequence you're going to get the documents for your stage gate approval. So you have that flexibility as well. So it, it's absolutely to be determined based on your business process. Um, so we're just going to delete this uh, diagram um, and we're going to check in uh, the final version of the document for approval. I mean, one of the one of the really powerful things, and Ben, I might cut to you here, is Ben got really excited when he learned that we could do some really powerful stuff with the content inside documents. So, Ben, I think the example that you were giving me is that you know if you had a, a document that you're currently processing offline, we can upload that document into Doxis we can extrapolate certain content that we need from the document, in, put, send that to clarity. So an example would be, let's for argument's sake say you demand management processes offline and you have a document and you had a, a, a project number, a project name, all of that metadata, upload the document, we can extract the content from within the document and then use that to integrate with clarity to create a project based on that information. So. Um, that, that's a very simple example, but I think there's huge opportunity for what we can do there and what we can automate. Um, um, okay, so we have uh, uploaded the document back into, or we are, sorry, we are uploading the document back into Clarity. I always sympathize with people who have to do a demo on somebody else's laptop. It's amazing how different somebody else's laptop is to your laptop. Um, I'm always very conscious of not blowing the scope of something to be too broad. So you've probably all been in different scoping workshops with me where I've tried to be the one in the room that's keeping the scope smaller. And, and that's because generally I see when the scope gets too big, things start to slow down or they don't happen. Um, and I think what I'm keen to do is to demonstrate the value in the project space, and, and not just projects. I mean, we're talking about value streams earlier on. You know, this applies to portfolio. It applies to strategy, um, investment planning. Uh, uh, Seb joined us today. I'm, I'm going to pick on him a few times. Um, I'm sure there's a whole host of content and, and, and business process that needs to be supported around that investment planning process, which I'm 99% sure most organizations are currently doing that offline. Um, and I think part of what we wanted to achieve in today's session is to just create awareness with key stakeholders within the organization so that then you can champion and be aware of what's possible and then we can come in and then have detailed chats with, with each organization to see where we can add value. And, and it won't be the same for all organizations, it will vary. Um, but great, Th thank you, Navin, I really appreciate that. Um, okay, so we're gonna check this document back in and I'm gonna quickly try and whiz through um, uh, the rest of this um, uh, demo because I think you can generally get the gist of where we're going. Um, 
The, uh, th there's a few things that I wanted to call out in terms of capabilities that are native to Doxis, which are extremely powerful. So, you know, uh, versioning, business pr uh, process engine that we're about to see. Um, so if we could just kick off um, the workflow approval. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to approve this document that we've just created. And our stage gate cannot advance until we have two approved documents. That's the logic of our current stage gate process. Um, we can, of course, build exceptions. So you might have an override where uh, the sponsor says, actually, I know we haven't quite signed off the BRD, but I want the project to get moving. The intention is not to restrict the organization from having the agility that it needs. Um, we want to provide you with a flexible process uh, that provides the right amount of governance and the right amount of rigor without putting you in a straitjacket. Um, and I think there's some customers in the room today that felt like once upon a time they were maybe in a straitjacket when it came to clarity, and that's not where we want you to be. Um, okay, so we're going to approve this uh, document, um, and I think we need to log in as the sponsor. So the sponsor should be on the... Oh, so the current status of that document is draft. We've initiated the process, and we can now see that it's waiting for approval. Um, so we just now need to switch to the uh, sponsor view. So we're going to just open another browser. So you know, our sponsor uh, might... Uh, be you know using views like our uh, roadmap capability. Um, uh, Ajnan is going to navigate to the pages dashboard, uh, where we've got a, a dedicated dashboard set up for content management. Um, in this view, um, the sponsor is going to find their work basket. Their work basket will show them all of the approvals that are pending on them across all of the projects that they might be sponsoring. So w w again, we're showing you project content management in the context of a project, what we're showing you now is for those people that have a role that spans multiple projects, you want to be able to see the content that you need um, in one place. Um, so this is the, uh, the document that's in my approval list. Um, I can look at the workflow, um, Ajnan. Um, so a, a very simple uh, workflow that we have. Um, if it needs more information, it, it would get uh, returned. Um, and we're going to do a simple approval on this document um, uh, just to, for the sake of the demo. We're going to approve that document. So that can all be done via a mobile device. Um, uh, email notifications would obviously be sent um, and so on. So um, uh, let me just make sure I'm not going to forget anything. Yeah, so if you could just uh, go back to the PM view a moment. Um, we're going to see that the project uh, stage, uh, the document in Doxis has now been approved. So if we navigate to the properties of the project, I as a project manager, I'm confident that I'm now ready to go to my stage gate. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go to the governance board because I've got the confidence that I've got all of my documents approved. Yes, Sarish. So, uh, as a project manager, I'm now going to submit my project for stage gate review. So, you can see we have a, a launch stage gate process within uh, the, 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 the project. Uh, we click uh, on that process and uh, a workflow within Clarity now kicks off. And that process in Clarity uses the metadata from the, the, the approved documents and is able to advance through a particular path in our process. So, I'm not saying that all stage gate processes are this simple. You know, you have two documents, they're approved. Oh, well, you can just go through to the next. Day. I'm not suggesting that. But for the, for, for the purposes of illustrating and, and demo, we just want to show you a flavor of the type of things that, that is possible. Um, OK, so if we now look at uh, the process, could you just take a look at the process, Ajnan? So, and look at the diagram for me. So uh, this is the, the, the workflow in Clarity. So we would configure a workflow in Clarity here to match your stage gate process. So uh, Madhavi, going back to your point, you know, if there was multiple levels of approvals that were required, you know, this would all be configured in, into that workflow. Uh, Zaki. Thanks, Zaki. Thank you. Um, OK, so quickly, just to wrap up, um, uh, we've just logged in as the PMO. Um, Ajnan, could you just review the uh, automated process enhancement project. 
Um, so we'll see that the life cycle of the project has now advanced to execution or executing. Um, and then if we go to the uh, baseline of the project, we'll see that the workflow in Clarity has take it, taken an automated uh, baseline of the project. So you might want to take a baseline at each point at which you uh, pass through your stage gate. Um, we've also, on the tasks, we have um, uh, updated the percentage complete of all of the tasks in that stage, and then we've opened the next stage and made that available for time entry. So if you wanted to kind of really strictly govern when people can write time to which tasks in the work breakdown structure according to your stage gates, we can control and automate um, all of that. Um, and we do have some other dashboards for the PM, but I'm, I'm very, uh, for the PMO, that give a, a more of a holistic view. Um, Ajnan, could you just navigate to the project list view, please? Yeah. Um, so, as uh, Mark was showing earlier, throughout the platform, we have um, a variety of different views. Um, could you just navigate to the list, uh, the grid view for me, please, Ajnan? The, the list uh, view, the grid, yeah. Uh, just the, the grid, yeah, thank you. So if I was the PMO and I wanted to look at all of our projects, I'd come to the project list view, I can filter, search, do whatever I want. Um, I've saved a view called um, in-flight stage gate projects. So if I click on this view, what that does is it filters and only shows me the projects that are currently under a stage gate review. So if I quickly wanted to understand which projects are in the stage gate review and then I can drill into those projects and understand the status of th th their documents, we can start right from the top and go all the way to the bottom of the stack uh, really, really simply. Um, and if you could finally just finish by going on the pages view, um, uh, Ajnan and go to the dashboard. This is, um, and if you could navigate to the content dashboard. So in, in this content dashboard, this is where we can do extremely powerful searches. So if I wanted to do a search in line for, for example, any documents that had the word clarity in it, um, this um, full text search would produce um, a result for all of the documents uh, that had the word clarity in it. We could then start applying other uh, filters like saying, well, any documents that have not been approved, any documents that are of a stage planning, any documents that belong to an approver, uh, Kate Ganley, you know, what, whatever, the, you know, whatever the example might be. So really, really simple to get your hands on the content that you need where, when you need it. And finally, we're just going to stop on the process bottleneck uh, dashboard, if you could just click on that one for me. So this is, this is a portal that's existed in Clarity for many, many years, but hardly any customers use it. And it's a, it's a real shame because what it does is it allows you to um, uh, improve your process. So um, this process uh, here, selected, uh, could you just minimize the filter for me? Um, so you can select any business process within Clarity that you automate. And what it will do is it will show you on the screen um, the performance of each of those steps in the process where you're waiting for someone to take an approval. So if you have a process where, for example, all business cases need to go to a particular committee or a particular sponsor, and you think, oh, God, that sponsor's really dragging their heels, but you can't really quantify it, um, this process bottleneck portal will allow you to say, well, actually, it's taken on average three weeks for this department or this individual to approve a particular document. So only by getting these insights are we able to improve the performance of the organization. So uh, this is really, really, really powerful, and I wish I could talk more about it. Um, we're really, really against the time, um, so I'm going to wrap up now.